वेलकम फ्रेंड पहले पेरेंट और चाइल्ड ग्रुप टू ए मैट्रिक्स इन एस एस आर एस इन आवर लास्ट सेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड ए रिपोर्ट बाय यूजिंग मैट्रिक्स सो मैट्रिक्स इज ए वेरी फेबुलस कंपोनेंट इन एस एस आर एस टू डिस्प्ले ग्रुप डेटा एंड समरी इंफॉर्मेशन इन ए बेटर मैनर सो और वी कैन से ए मैट्रिक्स इज सिमिलर टू क्रोस टेब्स एंड पीवर टेबल्स सो फॉर द बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ डज ए मैट्रिक्स वर्क वी कैन सी हेयर we have two groups one is row group and another is a column group so we are using daily sales data here so in this data you can see here we have season sales person order number order date sales year items order quantity base price or sales case amount it is a very similar data or we can say daily sales data so we are using this data in our sql data tool environment and created a matrix report here okay so now we are going to add a now we are going to add a parent group or child group functionality in our report so what we are going to do here in row group we are going to add a parent group now uh, for the items we are using sales person and add a group header to the report like this now you can see here yeah we have all the sales details in the region area for a particular sales person so it is very easy to add a parent group in a row group if we are going to add a column group or a uh, column group in column group we are going to add a child group so in a child we are showing the sales in a different region through sales year sales years now you can see here we have a sales in a in a year like if we are talking about this sales we have two uh, two year sales 2016 and 2017 as well so you can see here we have the group parent group as in a row and child group in a column for the uh, better understanding we are give some different color to the report like this and okay now you can see here we have a groups or uh, as a parent and uh, as a child within the matrix report automatic generated on the report and most interesting thing in group uh, what we need to do here we need to we need to add we need to add the 
sales person specific totals in our report so for doing this we are going into the row group on item level and add total we can add before and after before means uh, before starting item groups and after means after finish of all item groups for a particular sales person so we are using after and uh, provide some color to this to differentiate grand total and the sales person specific totals so we are given a color like this okay and just some of the sales case and we are change the font till 8 okay okay now you can see here after executing our report or preview of the report we have different sales now you can see here there is no sum up of the columns that is why because we did not write any expression here so we need to write an expression here also like this in this expression we have write a condition if total sales case is zero then display value should be zero if there are some values in a sales then sum of this value so we are doing the same in this column also we are going to expression here and just just paste the above code okay now you can see here yeah there is some values but uh, we need some formatting here also as we did in our upper sales so we are going to text box property in number in currency and include a space okay. so now we are going to preview of this report after doing all the changes now you can see here we have all the data for year wise for particular item for a particular salesperson it is grouped on year wise and item wise and salesperson wise on the report a matrix provide uh, provides a way to show our data dynamically where we are unknown how many columns are going to be displayed on the report or or uh, we can group uh, we can create a child group for our columns also as we did in our report here now uh, it is very easy to add a parent or child group in our matrix report as we did here okay now you can see here we have all the data in our report and we are showing total grand total in our report also so it gives us a fully summarized information to a salesperson and his performance in a specific region or in a year 
or we can see here a particular item sales for a particular sales person in a specific area so we can do some more formatting here like this uh, we can merge these columns here sales item sales by sales person okay now we are doing some formatting here okay we align middle and we are doing some font color as a bold now you can see here for the same we are doing for the total sales column in our report so these are formatting settings only and you can do it uh, as you want so i think uh, we believe that this session is very useful to understand how to add a parent group or a child group in a matrix report in ssrs please subscribe my channel on youtube